God is not your sugar daddy. Heaven Letter Number 4814 January 29, 2014 That I love you doesn't mean I cater to your every wish. Everything unfolds as it unfolds. Further than you can see, everything unfolds just right, and just right for you. Beloveds, you have been nearsighted. It is told that I require ten commandments from you, and, yet, you, you give me and yourself many more commandments than ten. I am not stubborn. I see the mechanics of the universe and how life on earth plays out. You, however, may be adamant on how life should play out according to your reckoning. You are sure you know better. You resent that there is death and that your loved ones die and you can hardly forgive me for saying that one day you too will die. From the window where I look out, there is no death whatsoever. The body, yes. Yet the body is not you. It is the wrapping you come in. You would like to command me to see that your heart is never broken. Demanding is also commanding. You may demand that the path of true love goes smoothly for you. Who was your true love once upon a time? Do you remember? Would the one you once claimed as your true love fill your heart now? Are you not, once in a while, grateful that your intention did not succeed? Say, thank you, God. You demand that I give you happiness. And you demand what that happiness ought to look like. What you really demand is that I bow down to you. You tend to think that you really do know better than I. Thy will, not mine, may never have said well with you. You want your life to fulfill your desires. You like me to take care of you, and then you like to hold me responsible for any unfulfilled desires of yours. You like the idea of free will. Grab it then. With free will comes responsibility. Really, with all love, I have to tell you that you can't have everything your way. You cannot have it two ways. Don't make me your scapegoat. Alas, much of the time, you don't listen to me anyway. You don't want to because you have the illusion that you know everything better than I could. Although you may express a desire to know what I think, and, then, when I tell you, you find me in the wrong. You can't have say in your life without responsibility. When I gave you free will, responsibility came with it. True, sometimes I create miracles for you, but then you are offended when I don't always hand you a miracle or say yes to your every wish. In fact, you may want to hold on to the past, and I firmly say no to you. In life, you take a boat ride, and Ford is the only path open for you. Thank me for that, beloveds. Thank me that everything does not always come out the way you want. You don't have to wait for me to make your life as you wish. Make your life what you wish. If you want to regulate your life, then be self-regulatory. Attract the life you want. Take the responsibility and forego blame. If you want to get somewhere, get on your horse, beloveds. Set yourself in the direction you want to go. Take the reins. Allow me to visit your life. At the same time, you give your life to all. Nothing surprises me, yet I am sometimes amazed at the contrariness of my children. All that occurs in life is for you, whether it's what you like or not. Too often you want life to stay the same, yet, you must know by now, that life in the world doesn't stay the same. Life is forever changing. Sometimes the change is too fast for you, and other times the change is too slow. Beloveds, you cannot always take the controls and lord it over me. Guide yourself, yes, and, at the same time, put aside your judgments and trust in me who loves you, if you could but see. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org